Today we are going to be running a sample of ground up and dried cranberries through our superior fractionating aspirator. In this sample we have a lot of fines and chaff that is the skin of the cranberry that is in there that has been dried down with the seeds and we want to remove the seeds out of this lightweight material and uh, then they will go off to be processed for to have the oil extracted out of them. We're going to be running this sample through our lab size Carter Day fractionating aspirator and this will show us what a larger unit will do. The larger units that we have available are 24 inch and 48 inch fractionating aspirators. The machine gives you four different grades. You have your heaviest grade and then you have number twos, number threes, and number fours. The number four grade would be your lightest grade. If you find that these extra light cuts are not needed and you only needed a heavy and a light separation, it's possible that a Carter Day Duo aspirator would work in the place of this machine and that would give you your heavies and your lights and it may even be a little bit faster as far as capacity goes. So the seeds on this sample are a little heavier. We have everything already set up on this machine. The seeds are going to be dropping out into your first grade and then number two, three, and four are all going to be light chaff. We're going to go ahead and start the unit. So now we have the unit running and uh, we will go ahead and engage the metering roll. And then with this clear side here you'll be able to see it make its separation. Again the heavies will be dropping down and the lights will be sucked up this column. And you can see how the grades as they fall then they fall into grade two, then three, and then it goes over the top, and then you have grade four down here. That's how it's set up in the larger machines, and so we're going to run this and give you an idea of how the larger machines will work. You can see it making its separation there. going to go ahead and run this sample and then I will show you the results at the end. On the side of the machine here you can see the air dial. I have the air turned down almost all the way because this is a really light sample. So to get the separation just right I had to shut it down so that uh, you would not have excess material blowing out of the fan up here. Okay, so here is the results of the dried cranberry test. You have your heaviest cut here, which is your seeds, and then it does have these larger lumps in it. It's possible that a lump breaker might be needed to bust those up before you go into the aspirator. Uh, this is the second cut. It has the most in it. I looked through it. Uh, I did not see any seeds in there, but it's possible there is a few very light seeds in there. So, And then these are number three and number four, and these are both really light. So what I will do is bag these up and send it to the customer for his review. 
Okay, so we have the sample all bagged up, number one, two, three, and four. We're going to package this up and send it back to the customer.